Hello there and welcome back to some more Grand Turismo 4. Today we're continuing on more Let's Play. This is episode 68 in today's episode where we are taking a look at the Japan Championship for the Japan events. We we need Japan. We're gonna Japan like we Japaned in the last episode. I'm sorry, I was so hoping we need more. Um, subscribe to Boost the Channel. You know, if we interrupted that, do you think you would have exploded? <laughs> yes. Subscribe. Anyways, we're yes. using an <laughs> just like, no, I'm, I'm just imagining we're blood using boil. an NSX. Just subscribe to Japan. Lime green we insects. need to, we need to, to finish off our daily intake of VTEC. Yes, welcome to Honda Week. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have Except... used quite a lot of Hondas. No one's yes. talking about it. You say it's it's Honda Week, but by the next episode, we're going to break the train. <laughs> yes, we, we, we won't use a Honda in the next episode. I really hope we use Honda. Gas Kings. No. <laughs> gas Kings. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think this car will probably be okay with an engine upgrade, and that'll probably do it, to be honest with you. Yeah. It's light. Ish. 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 Anyways, not down there. It is there. It's an actual championship now with actual prizes. Except in the last episodes. Whatever. Fuji, <laughs> Super, R246, Twin Ring, Motegi, and the Suzuka Circuit. Let's go. Also, the fucking awful Evo 8 RS is there. In the. <laughs> yeah. I like that, because steel wheels are cool. Any car offering steel wheels after 1979 is. Pointing this out, free spokes are cooler than steel wheels. You're yeah, objectively preach. wrong because the Peugeot 106 rally exists. You're objectively wrong because the Peugeot 306. XSI oh, exists. Boy, yeah, just... Hey people, let's think about one thing. Let's think about the the poor angel that cannot watch it that because fast. there is no place on the thing left. There's no place like home. Except for like home. There's no place like home. Anyways, what no have we got? Like we home. have two skylines, an RX-7, a Oh, free skylines, because best skyline. And there's an Evo RS. Oh boy. Also, A spec points. Because, like I said, these cars are tuned to around about 400 to 500 horsepower. So is mine. Each. Well, we don't have to worry about the fucking Infinity because that's a piece of shit. Mm. I thought you just said it was best Skyline. Exactly, but it's still a I piece mean, of I, shit. All Skyline. I mean, it's, really, it's clearly superior to the R33. R31. R37. Oh, yeah, R37. Yeah, R37. What about the fat overweight one? What, the R34? No. Oh, God, that was the not fat a good idea. One. That was a really bad idea. How many on? The, that wasn't intentional. That's fine. No, it's the it's the Honda NSX Rally Cross Edition. How fine. many A spec points is the thing? Ninety. Ah, uh, man, you. Eighty-nine. One of you's fucking lying to me. Ninety-eight. It is ninety-eight. It is ninety. It's minus one. <sighs> this is a Type S NSX, which means it weighs less. Hmm. Although Does not like... as much as the Type S Zero. Which didn't exist in this generation, I don't think. The Type S0 was called that because it weighed zero kilograms. Can you just like stab yourself or something? <laughs> <laughs> Can I stab the mailman? Hang on a second, I think I have a pen around yeah. here. One second. Not enough. Boost. Don't resort to self harm. Okay, right, I've but got a pen happens, here. Like, we all live and we all die. The thing is, that's that's inevitable. Do you live and die in my ass? Dying, we'll all die. But uh -oh. the thing is, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'll make you die earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine because I've got yeah, a pen. Fuck you. And <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to die the day I get my driver's license. I'm going to die there. Yes, you are. They'll hunt you down. Shit. <laughs> My throat. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, Boost, did I tell you I found the best car for you? Oh yes. no. Oh uh, no. Swift. Yeah, Diesel Suzuki Swift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're a car me. I know um, you've got a hard on for diesel, so. 
No, I don't like BMW motorway cruisers because that actually makes sense. No, it no, doesn't. Hatch. Okay, buy buy an old BMW 5 Series for your first like, car. Boost. Oh yeah, like I could get insurance for that. Boost. Yeah. You're objectively wrong. Except not. Yeah, except you are. Shep, yes. Because a diesel BMW, a BMW is supposed to be the ultimate driving machine. By design, a diesel engine cannot be a part of an ultimate driving machine because the diesel engine weighs more than a petrol engine. <laughs> which Even adds front-end no. ballot. Which adds front-end bias. And the whole point of a BMW is it's supposed to have 50-50 weight distribution, and with a diesel engine, a BMW cannot have a 50-50 weight distribution. <laughs> Unless, like, so you know, they just made... So explain why on the list, right, you've got a diesel car one the BMW events. Because it's objectively better than the 120i. <laughs> <laughs> also, I want to use the diesel. So... You know no, this from the yourself. That you want to use the only diesel in the game. No. What, what, what was that about diesel engines way more than petrol engines? Can I explain something very quickly? Okay. I like to self-hinder myself in this game. Have you not realised nope. that at this point? We oh, already I, know. I just assumed it was sort of like a self-harm, like you actually... Yeah, he can't, ah, from it. It. you can't joke about that. I never joke about it, I'm Listen, it I don't want fucking Tumblr kids getting on this channel, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As if anyone from Tumblr's on Listen, my fucking right, we should all... a second. Let me just make a Tumblr hey, vlog now. Hey, hey, hey. As a, I'm on Tumblr. Let's all look at Logan Paul as a role model. Porn, Hang on a second, I'm just, yeah, I just, I I'm just, sure I'm not. I made a Tumblr account now and I'm making a blog about your. <laughs> I, I don't even know. No, no, don't That's go on Tumblr. Tumblr. <laughs> it's how you get fucking uh, cunt that ass, took up their ass, or you get. Yeah, Tumblr that's the whole point. I want cunt. Tumblr is only <laughs> good for two things. You want a. Um, Emil, like you say you really want cunt, yet you are cunt. Yeah, no, that's why I can't stop eating myself. I will explain to you, oh. Tumblr is only good for two things. One, it's a haven for people to sit in hug boxes and just positively <laughs> affirm each other about things that are <coughs> not necessarily normal people <coughs> with. And the second side of it is just for porn. Yeah, I mean, what is that? Come back to you. There Tumblr is so many people. Don't ask. It's, it's just fantastic. Yeah, sure, let's just go with that. Listen, yeah, Sonic communities yeah. were a mistake. Moving on. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God, Jesus Christ. No. Don't start this, Emil. Do not doing, fucking start. No, I think I think we should. Let's get a full blown argument. Oh, no, let's sake. not fucking yeah. go on about Sonic. Let's rather not. What's you? <laughs> Listen, I don't want to speak about rip-off Mario for hours on end. What, what's your favourite fantasy? <laughs> Ty the Tasmanian... Mm. Now no, you see, Ty is a game I can get on board with. Anyone remember I'm Ty? I'm more than myself. Anyone he's remember Ty? The game where yes. you like, collected so... boomerangs and shit? No, I'm like... No. I can no. get on board with that game. I was no. like... I remember it, I never played get, it. Get on track with your fucking PS1 platformers, dude. Fuck it, I'm gonna buy that for PS2. That That'll was be PS2. The first. It'll um, I was good, fuck was flawed but good. Especially if Oh my god, I just remembered another one. Yeah. Well, does anyone remember Gex the Gecko? That was great. Yeah, yeah that is like fucking PS4's amazing. Like yeah. Again, too young. Awesome. Too young. Gex Shame. the Gex the Spy Gex Gecko. Was it's I actually like him. It's today. Do you know what I need Say to do? Eric. Well, I need cry. to hoard a bunch of like old platform games from like the late nineties, early two thousands, and just LP. Make a shrine dedicated to Bobsy three D. No, I, I, I want to build. I want to play a uh, what was it called? Nuts and bolts or Banjo Kazooie? Oh yeah, Banjo Kazooie. Uh, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and bolts. Yeah. Play Beyond Wasn't Good or Evil. Or what it was called? Was Good or Evil actually any good anyway? I is known for being one of the best games ever made by Ubisoft, so... Yeah, but that's not it's difficult. Like... I mean, look at Ubisoft's track record. <laughs> uh, Driver mm. San Francisco would like a word. Yeah, the game that they cancelled in order to make fucking Watch Dogs, alright. 
Mm. What? No, Drive care? to San Francisco. No, no, they were going to make a sequel to it and cancel it. Wait, what? It to watch dogs. They oh, shouldn't have made a sequel. Yeah, they have made a sequel to it. Actually, I'll, I'll be honest. It might have been good. Watch dogs was pretty good, so I'm not sure if I can really complain about that. Like, it was supposed to be Driver dogs, Chicago or something. Mm. Do you have a source for this? Pretty much. Yeah, uh, you can Google it. Uh, fucking Watch Dogs turned into. I don't know if it was Driver Chicago for sure, but I know bits of the Driver thing got made no. into Watch Dogs. No, I just like the idea that the sequel is he gets put into another coma where all of a sudden he can hack anything with his mind. Yes. <laughs> then it just like slowly. You can't. You you can't make it. You can't really. You couldn't really make a sequel to Driver San Francisco because it kind of reached the pinnacle of. What no, no. I think it was. Ubisoft could. Yeah, but I think it was more like another game bait because they made another driver game, didn't they? For like the Vita or some bullshit. They just put more towers in it. It's fine. Yeah, fucking there were fucking radio towers. Fuck it. Mm. No, you, you, no, you have to you have to drive a um, you have to drive your charger up the side of a building, a charger up the side of the building to get to the top of the towers. Yes. Well, basically, we uh, um, second levels of uh, yes, crazy. But in all seriousness, I'm actually trying to think of like actually good Ubisoft games. Like, um, um what good Ubisoft games Steve? I've played? I played Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero, which I'm assuming they only distributed. That was shit. Um, yeah, they did. Yeah. Steep, Steep's pretty good. Never played Steep. I've actually I've seen gameplay of Steep. Steep looks okay. I want to. I want to try Steep. Um, Steep's great. Fun. Rayman. Uh, I've never played I mean, Rayman. There are people that are saying Shame. that. Uh, there were people who were thinking the game that became Watch Dogs could have been another driver, but there's no concrete proof. Uh, I heard it somewhere. I don't know. I well, just I want mean, to I know where you go. Post, but there's no Hi. holy crap. That's okay. So I was finally able to join the Hangouts. That is a beautiful, beautiful lime green on that car. I know. Mm. I, I I really want to know how you go from like John Tanner to Aiden Pearce, though. Is the thing. <laughs> They're such different characters. One has personality, one does not. <laughs> yeah. One doesn't. Yeah. And then That's San Francisco. The... Wasn't the second one, like, pretty decent? What, Watch Dogs 2? Yeah. I'll it be honest. I'll... Definition of decent. I heard it was, in fact, really good, but. Uh... I, I'll i be honest. I've got both of them. I really like Watch Dogs 1. I hate Watch Dogs 2. What's does it have two? anything to do with the game sense of humor? Yeah. Uh, well, they okay. messed up. They messed up the car handling. The car handling is terrible they now. The Everyone uh, hated the handling in the first game. Yeah, I loved it. Really? I, no, because basically the cars have no rear end grip now. What, in the first uh, and the second game? In the second one. In the first one, the cars were very sort of understeer focused, so basically you just used the handbrake to get around turns, and it was really nice and easy to control. Yeah, All right, are, you don't like the, are you thinking? Of the, are you thinking about this under the logic of the average person who would play this kind of game, or are you thinking about this under the logic of well, boost and ethanol? Because let's be totally honest here, these are not racing games. Well, if it was up to me, all the cars would be mid-engine. Yeah, here's the thing. This yeah. is why people said GTA 4 had bad handling. It actually didn't. It's just the casuals don't know how understeer yeah. works. Yeah. Either that, yeah. or they didn't even know how to turn off the fucking driving aids. Well, what, in Grand Theft Auto 4? Well, consider it has actually freaking amazing... Grand Theft Auto 4 had driving aids? Oh, back. oh, I thought you were on about Grand Turismo 4. No, sorry. Grand Turismo no, 4 is universally... Oh, no, a different day. Uh, I, I, mean, I mean, people hate GTA 5 and they not GTA Granny's 4. Granny's Tri-Automobile No, no, 4. they hate GTA... They oh. used to despise GTA 4, I don't really know about... GTA 5's handling is just odd. Yeah. Like... Yeah, it's really twitchy. Do you know what I hate about fun, it? But it's twitchy. I hate but. the fact that when you go through a corner, there's a 50-50 chance on whether you got to die going through it or not. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's like, is the car physics, going oh, to yeah. let go or not? Let's find out. RNG based physics, oh yeah. Then again, know, Midnight Club LA episode. didn't exactly have good physics. So. But yeah, Ubi nah, games. Um, the crew. Uh, the crew one was. <laughs> Yeah, the nah, crew, crew one, one was, got better over yeah, time. But, yeah, the uh, crew one was like improved heavily with Wild Run, but before that, it was very. Uh, what about the, the thing is, the the here's the thing: what? they could. Uh, if I was making the crew, I would have just copied and pasted driver sound. Oh, I know what made the bat, map maker. What? Maker. What? what? Far Cry Three. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, yeah, it was fun. Did I yeah. ever tell you? 
the I definition. Want to play Far Cry 5 so bad, I, uh, I played I mean, 4. Really? 4 was... The problem with playing Far Cry these days is I played a lot of 3 and I really liked 3, but 4 is literally exactly the same as 3. So... Yeah, and 5 looks like it's going to be the same as yeah, 4, which means once I play 5, I don't have a problem with... I haven't played any Far Cry games since, like, the original ones, so I'm fine. This is exactly what Jim Sterling was saying the other day, he was just like... Far Cry 5 might be one of the best games I have ever played, but I don't know it because all Ubisoft games for the past several years have been exactly the same. They all follow exactly the same formula. Sweet, so I can jump into 5 and not give a shit about the rest. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Far Cry 5 lets you kick dogs. Assassin's Creed only... was garbage. Uh oh. The only Far Cry game I've ever played was which one was the one that I would think would be the best one, which was Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon. Oh, Blood Dragon. Yeah. I oh. never actually played Blood Dragon, I should have. What? Never... You should play it! It's, it! It is the biggest freaking joke, but it's amazing and hilarious. I think I got it, it in games like 80s like eight ages ago. ago. Yeah. And you haven't played it yeah, yet? Right. I kick your butt. I, I mean, I need to play like Battle Block Theater and shit. Isn't it the most 80s thing ever, basically? It's yeah, yeah. Most, yeah it, it's, that's what it is, and it's wonderful because of it. I saw yeah, unless I can PC play it before. Yeah, unless I can have a gun that fires DeLorean. It's that's not a 80s fucking enough, name man. from back in the day. No, but you have robo dinosaurs, I think. Yeah, there are robot dinosaurs with lasers, and you can kind of ride one. Literally, so. how is it not the best fucking game in the world? That's what the, that's what the robot the, the the robot dinosaurs are literally the, the the titular blood dragons from the title of the game. So it's like listen, uh, yeah, we all know what I the best game is. What? what? Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> you can throw shit at the wall. I mean, yeah, the game that ten you out start ten. off, right? The game. Dude, Nukem can forever literally starts off taking a piss. Amazing. Yeah. And it really doesn't deserve to because That's it's not doing it. I actually made a list of good games because that was going to be a Christmas special one. Well. Oh. Okay, do you know, top do you five want, games. To be honest, do you know the only reason I made that list of best games? Why? Why? So I could have an excuse to blabble on about Halo 3, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> I fucking enough. loved Halo 3. Top 5 games then, go on. That's it. Oh shit. What, off the top everyone's of my head right now? Well, yeah, sure, just everyone's yeah. top 5 games. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'll go because yes. I'm here. Uh, Grand Turismo 4. Actually, no, fuck it. Grand Turismo 2. Uh, I'm gonna try and use, like, I'm not gonna, like, use the same from each series. Like, I'm only gonna pick one in from no each series. One. Yeah, okay then. Yeah, yeah one per franchise. Uh, no, in no particular order, Halo 3, Gran Turismo 2, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, uh, shit. Fucking hell, what else is the? Uh, Black Ops 2. I fucking love Black Ops 2. Um, shit. What the fuck other games do I have? Um, See, fuck it, Leave Speed Underground 2. Yeah, that's the first game that Mia. came to my head that I like. Mia, why not CSGO? Because it made you 150 quid. It did make me 150 quid, which is more than any games ever made me before. Unfortunately, I spent all of that money on bullshit, so... <laughs> also, 150 quid. It was 200 quid, mate. Oh! That obsidian on, steed life, what can I say? Who next, then? Um, fuck it. Uh, Azzy, you're next on the... Yeah, come on, we'll go around. Yeah, go around the room. I don't know uh, five, top five games. It's mm. gonna be diff difficult, and it kind of depends on like how I'm feeling in the moment. Well, you've got uh, a moment. Probably on, oh. uh, my to ultimate top five, but Spyro: A Hero's Tale is fucking great. Team Fortress Two, Gran Turismo Four. What else? Um... GTA San Andreas, the best GTA game, GTA 5 can go fuck itself. GTA 5 can fuck itself, but 5 City is better than San Andreas. And London Racer. <laughs> 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 That's reasonable. That's reasonable. Honestly, the fact that that came at the end worries me. Yes. Well, I mean, nah, it's a great it, game. Nah, though, for real, probably Binding of Isaac for the fifth. Oh, okay. Really? You and Rhino can so share it. enjoyment of that. Yeah. Really good. Uh, classy. He's muted. He's dead. Okay. Dead. Thunder. By the way, I'm not listing games, so you don't have to name me. No, no, you are. 
Fun yeah. Fun We've started this, wow. we're ending it. Favourite games, top five, can't use one from the same series, go. Uh, Burnout 3, Gran Turismo 2, um, Windows Brandon Clay going Commando, Donkey Kong Country 2, and I'm trying to think of a fifth one. I completely forgot about Burnout 3. Yeah, okay, I know my yeah. top five then. Fuck, I need for Speed Most Wanted. There you go. Uh, in no particular order, Automation, GT4, Driver San Francisco, Forza Horizon 1, and Burnout Oh 3. shit, I forgot about Forza Ooh. existing. Why the fuck did I do that? <laughs> what? Why did I forget about Forza? Of all, of all the, the game series. <laughs> what did I put Underground 2 above Forza 7? Uh... You call what Forza 7 is one of your all-time favorites? Well, it's the best motorsport game. Yeah, but Horizon 1 is the best Forza Yeah, Horizon game 1 is like the best Horizon game, yeah, there's no doubt in that. No, it's just yeah. the best Forza game, full stop. Quite possibly. Right. Yeah, but we all know Emil would prefer Motorsport to Horizon because realistic physics. Shit. No, motorsport 7 I would be sick. Horizon six. to Motorsport. Anyways, Torrent, go. You can't, what this? Uh, top 5 games can't reiterate from the same series, go. Huh? Top 5 games you can't what? reiterate from the same series. Go. Top five games for me. Yeah. Yes. What is your top five favorite games? Shoot a pensioner. <laughs> if you don't lose them within a minute, I'm gonna name some for you. <laughs> well, that would be Little Britain the video game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, would yeah. I would rather chop off my own penis than play that. Shell Shock Two. No. The Legend of Randy Orton Sex Tales. <laughs> I'll play that. Oh! Top oh, five yes. favorites. Go on. DJ San Andreas. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gran Turismo 4. Mm -hmm. Boy? Yep. Forza Horizon 3. Ooh! Okay. Ooh. Okay. He thought I did spend a lot of time on that. Battlefield Bad Company 2. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go for that. Yeah, yeah. And the last one would have to be... Hmm, it's hard, really. I would say... Life is Strange? Yes, the whole the whole series. Oh shit, Doki Doki not would be before, Not before the storm, because... God, that was... That was, uh... The whole series, but it's no, just the two games the in the series. The first episode of Before the Storm was alright. The last two... Shit! Well, oh, there you go. That's my, that's my reaction to him. I forgot about some of well, what? Fucking, Don't if this it. was like a top seven... Right, because Forza would have to go in there. I'd be tempted for Honey Pop, you know, because I fucking really like that game. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was your game of the year that reminds at one me, point. They almost got list delisted from Steam entirely. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I hope they can fucking... The waifu... What was it? Waifu Wasteland or something's the hashtag? He was the, like he was calling it the waifu apocalypse because it was a bunch of yeah, games Yeah, waifu apocalypse. Yes, was because the game was not politically correct. No, it's because... Well, that's been... That one. Well, that's because... Uh, well, it doesn't matter now because they're being all the games that were affected are now being reevaluated according to emails. Yeah, blame India for it apparently. <laughs> India. Okay. Realistically, yeah. Honey Pop would actually not be too terrible for it because all they really have to do is remove the tits from the sex scenes and just make it so you have to find get the uncensored patch for all of it just to update the uncensored. You know what? The, you know what the kicker is? Shoot. All the games that were list, all the games and studios that were listed because they were about to be like, you know, removed from Steam and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Now they're all in the clear, but I think that did a different kind of attention entirely because I had two people on my freaking friends list actually buy some of the games that were in trouble today. Oh good, I'll buy everyone a copy of Honey Pop in this chat as soon as I have the car. Oh no, I'll buy it's everyone the a copy of Fucking Simulator it, XL. Oh, it, it, it's. It's, it just feels like the old saying, even bad publicity is good publicity, because they're selling them copies of the game now. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, Honey Pops, like, doesn't need publicity, because the guy who makes it is genuinely a Twitter gem. <laughs> oh, it, um, it wasn't even Yeah, he fries off guy. controversy. Yeah, and he... He, well, he he's knows his game's tongue in It's somewhat puts... controversial, but it's not necessarily a bad one. But... No. Okay, uh... Fucking who... Oh, Inferno, you're next. Go. Um, no particular order. Um, Grand Turismo 2. 
Hey. Burn up our dice. Okay. Mm. Ridge race at seven. Okay. Oh. Um. Knee speed underground two. Mm -hmm. And ration clan three up your arsenal. Ha. <laughs> you said arse. <laughs> Uh, also, well, that was the uh, subtitle lit for um, America, but unfortunately, due to uh, political correctness over here in uh, Europe and not, and also in Australia, they removed the subtitle and only made it Russian Club free. Oh, political correctness is gay. Boring. Anyways, Angel, it's your go. No, it's not. Please. Yeah, it is. Is. I'm too busy driving in a game for me to think. What game is it? We can put that in. Yeah. <laughs> well, it might yeah. actually be on one of my. It might actually want to put. You see, I can't even. Well, I can't even speak correctly. I'm too busy driving through corners at like 150. Can you tell us. Moving on. You, you, you gotta tell us, Angel. I'm actually cu genuinely. Sorry, I am Max. actually curious. All right. It's one right, of your favorite games, Honey Camp Studio. Oh, no. Honey Camp Studio is not as good as Honey Pop. No, no. Give me. I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna take the time and write this down in a notepad file. Skip me, and I'll like. Okay, we'll come back this, to you. Because actually, after okay. yeah, I have to make some effort. Daniel, go. Okay. Uh, San Andrea, Andreas. Yep. CT4. Mm-hmm. Force of the Rise and Run. Yep. Burnout Three, and Underdam Two. There you go. That's it's pretty simple. Is Ludo dead or is he here? Uh, I think um, he's. But the fact he hasn't screamed something out, as I assumed it. No. Okay, right. Ludo is alive. Oh, is he alive? I don't know. He's met, he's tapping the mic or something. I don't know. Oh, can you see his face in the thing? No, no. It's like it's the audio thing on Discord where. It, like, yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, Ludo's favorite games: uh, Paris Marcel Racing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what, 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 I, I come back traitor. That'll get him. Um, <laughs> you've got to list your top five favorite games, no reiterations within a series, so you can't say GT2 and GT4. Go. Me? Yeah. Yes, go. Yeah, you go. Uh, five games. Final Fantasy, um, which one? Fallout, uh, which, which Final Fantasy 7, because it was the best, uh, um, we... Fallout, yeah, fuck you. Um, you got to list the number, by the way. Yeah, Grand which like, helps. Gran Turismo 4. One. Yep. Did you say Fallout? Which one? Yes, I'm thinking about which one I actually prefer. Fallout... Uh... New Vegas, one. probably? That's one. 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 Oh, one. Oh, one. Okay. Um, hmm. That one had a TARDIS in it. And so, so, how many you say? What's that five. Five, five games. So I must ask three. Um, Elder Scroll Five. I mean Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And last fucking game. One game I loved. I, I mean, is there anything? My Don't you like airplane simulators or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. But they do too that much. But, uh, hey, yeah, you know what? Ace Combat Four. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the Ace Combat games. Right, Angel, you got your notepad? I do, I'm just... wait, hold on. He's now got like an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah! <laughs> Every <laughs> game like a play a score system. System. Uh, You're not even partly, you're not even wrong. It is not, it's not an Excel spreadsheet, but I'm kind of here thinking, are those really it my top five be. favorite games? Because I think I have like seven favorite games. I'm just imagining you've got like a bunch of algorithms working out like, oh yeah, the graphics on this. Did I say like, Halo yeah, 3 in mine? I did, then. Yes, 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 you did. <laughs> Can I gush about Halo 3 some more? Uh, uh, all right, no, because... So, Alright, so I think I've got, uh, I think I've got a set, because I'm trying not to have so many racing games on my uh, list. Mm -hmm. you you know, can I did grow up on racing games, but I like other stuff as well. So, just, 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 put, just put whatever you like the most, it doesn't yeah. matter what it is. That's the thing, yeah, I don't have preferences. Unless that, here's the thing, you guys are saying favorite racing games, but this is like I don't say favorite your favorite games. child. My no, it's still like choosing between your favorite child, man. There's a lot of games that I like. What do you mean? Just say all well, the simple thing there. You've got to whole... remember, oh. for the ladies and gentlemen at home, Angel is a 55-year-old man. He's played every game since the Magnavox Odyssey came out. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things on this. Sorry. Okay. Look. Look. Okay. My top five that I was able to jot off the top of my head. The fact that I could jot them off the top of my head makes it kind of easy. Grand Turismo 4. 
Uh, Need for Speed Underground 2, the original Juiced, Metal Gear Solid 2, and Ooh, Suit Force Extreme Justice. Hey. The original Juiced. Oh. Fucking, I can't yeah. wait. I was thinking about it earlier today. I can't wait till let's play Juiced again. That's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. You know you're going to set off and be like, yeah, this is going to be wonderful, and then 10 minutes later... Do you, you not remember what break. happened in the cancelled Juiced? I wasn't movie. there. I wasn't um, there. I, basically, what to happened? sum up what happened is I made a Beetle amazing. Uh, the CRX went Hello. through with no trouble. When we got to a Peugeot 206, I wanted a sweet free queer bumper. I decided to bet, how much was it? 60 grand onto 60, winning this race. And I like spun the car out because the 206 was a pile of shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, I lost yeah. all my money so and kidding, like... You it idiot. Just, it, gave up. We just gave up. Also, that's where the term wankers comes from. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't let us swear. It we will say wankers, so we went wankers. <laughs> if there was a roadblock, we would just sidestep it. Fucking fucking wankers. Yes. Just trying to think of short. Yeah, Wankers with an M. Trying to think of short. Are you trying to imply that we swear? We never fucking. Yeah, never we fucking never swear. swear. You little fucking cunt. Yeah, we never. We, we never fucking swear, you fucking Wankers. No, we wouldn't. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't. I'm ever swore. Fucking fucking Christian. Right? Boost I'm as well. PG. She can't swear. <laughs> yeah. 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 Swear words haven't been invented yet. Yeah. 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 Swear hasn't uh, come to Wales yet. <laughs> N neither <laughs> has the internet, but here I am. <laughs> Jesus Christ, your powers are digital. Oh, the of the I mean, amazing. didn't you go to a fucking <laughs> Christian school? The, or do? Yeah. The, look, right now, my hamster's getting tired. It, I may cut out at any moment. Your maybe. hamstring's getting tired. My hamster. That's power of my... euphemism, Boost. Don't fuck with <laughs> me. <laughs> Is it? Look, yeah. I've got oh, hamster shit. running in a wheel, shit. powering my computer. Oh, oh dear. Hard. Oh, dear. There we go. It was good, he recovered. This NSX is really fucking nice, by the way. It's an NSX, it's gonna be nice. Mm. Are, you, yeah, what, are you kidding me? Those things Grand Turismo 1... I remember in the original Gran Turismo, those things were freaking tail-happy monsters. Mm. Yeah, that's why they're fun, because yeah, the they're mid-engine, so... GT. I never said they weren't fun, I just said they're tricky. Yeah, in GT2 yes, there was an it's tricky. In GT2 Ooh. there was an episode called Gran like, Turismo naturally, SSX is a thing now. Naturally Slidey X or something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but the great thing about mid-engine cars is you just slide the rear naturally right and then just accelerate. Extremes. There you go. Yeah. You really drive me to destruction. Right. I'm just trying to think of shortlist games now. San Andreas is really very excellent. It I is. think we should argue mm. now about why uh, people put games on. Liberty City Stories was fantastic. I actually like. I mean, 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 the, I mean, the, fi the yeah. thing is, I mean, with San Andreas, there is one drawback. It's what? it's too big and feel empty in the end. It's not Can I be big. really honest? I so Dude, thought you were. Get the hell out! Can I be really honest? For some what? reason, I just what? for some reason thought you was gonna say because the main character's black or something no. like that. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's what I thought you was gonna no. say. No, no. I mean, no. No. what they, no. what they mean, no. they, the big is that, uh, the, 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 yes, it's, it's big and great. it's good, but oh. there is there is not enough things to do with the size of it. So. You are. The issue I have with San Andreas is, I don't know, I prefer Vice City's aesthetic. Aesthetic. And the I mean, music I mean, and the feel of the game, that? but San Andreas is like... That, that is part if, of aesthetic, if, music and feel is part of aesthetic. If Vice City is number one, San Andreas is number two. There's no question about yeah. that. Okay, where's yes. GTA 4 right now? Oh shit. 99. 4... Did I... I really uh, like Liberty City Stories, because that was like, that game was based in 98, so it feels... Which one? Um, Liberty like, City Stories. Uh, um... GTA 4 is definitely higher up than GTA 3. Yeah, GTA 3. You can tell what they were trying to do, but it's just, it's too early for it. 4 is higher than 5. There's no... Well, yeah, 5 five's... might be my least favourite. I mean, I played GTA 1 yeah. and 2. I might not be count those. 5 so might actually GTA be my least favourite purely because fucking GTA Online is hell. And also, yeah. after you complete the game, there's not really much to do. Also, I... Despise LA, so oops. Um, oh, I, someone LA only ever it, played yes. five. I'm really quite like it as like a modding thing, just because I really oh, like the, the big modding thing. stuff's probably fantastic. That's probably part. Yeah. Like that's why I like some. Yeah, that's redeemable, but we're we're kind of judging on like official content here. Real GTA well, 3 is very good. I like real GTA 3 a lot. 
But again, I just cheat in the multiplayer cars so I can have a salt on her ass and then drift all the way through the city. Yeah. Um, and that's literally all I want. How's it feel to know that you're human scum? GTA 4. <laughs> oh. Uh huh. Well, yeah. Um, and GTA I mean, 4. I thought that was well established, but damn. G yeah. <laughs> GTA 4 is number three. There you go. Fair play. So you've got three GTA uh, games in the top three spots. No, no, I'm just saying in terms of actually ranking the GTA games for me. Uh, Vice right. City San Andreas, uh, for Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories, GTA 3, uh, and then 5. I mean, you can probably stick Gaytonian and Lost and Dam somewhere in the bottom corner of that. Yeah. Just above. I mean, I, mean, I don't really count those as separate games. They are more. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 And and question between those two, which one was your favorite? What between Lost and Damned and Ballard? Yeah. Probably Ballard. I think that's. I like the atmosphere of Lost and Damned, but I'm not a bike person. Uh, and obviously, I mean, Gay Tony is the one everyone remembers because that's when they sort of bought the fun back to GTA 4 and gave it parachutes and shit. Hmm. Also, some of the cars and the DLCs were amazing. I love the Tampa. The Tampa was cool. Yeah. In terms of the open, in terms of open world games, what are your best? Oh, um, fucking. I mean, realistically, if we're talking open world, shit. All right, here's another one I might have missed out on the top five. Although it wouldn't be in the top five, hey. but it would be like literally six or seven. Fucking Saints Row 2 was amazing. Can we just get that out of the bar? Oh yes, yes. 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 Saints Row yes, 2 yes, it was. legitimately so that's a game might be better. Meaning to play. Saints Row 2 might legitimately be better than GTA 4. Saints Row 2 is fantastic. It fucking is. Oh, time you burnt ass. Well, okay. I also Ooh, really enjoy Just Cause 2. I've never played a Just Cause game. I need to, though. I of course. To... Just Cause 3 is all right. Actually, since I've really played all the GTA deep. games, can I rank them myself? Oh, yeah. yeah, go for it. Sure. Um, okay. I would probably rank the older GTA games at the bottom, like the top-down ones, mostly because I just they're not, I don't really have much attachment to them. Uh, I Except played GTA them. Two. I like GTA Two. I played them for the first time the other day. The control scheme is wonky as fuck. Yes, like I don't have much attachment to them, so they're at by the bottom. Mm. Um, in terms of uh, the 3D GTAs. Uh, well, actually, after the 2D GTAs, I would then rank. Then above that would be Chinatown Wars. Ah, uh, yeah, Chinatown Wars. Oh was fun, snap! Yeah. Chinatown Wars was that fantastic. Was Chinatown Wars is okay. I, I didn't was, play it. I had it on. Sorry. That was it's, the it's, DS one, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, DS, DS PSP. Yeah. I had it on PSP, and Same. it was great for a yeah. PSP title. I thought it was okay, but I again, I didn't really get attached to it. I did because I had to play it when I was on holiday for like two weeks somewhere. I did a lot of drug dealing in that time. Well, yeah, the drug dealing. <laughs> what in the what game about in the game? game? Yeah. What? Oh no, the game on ports fuck. <laughs> 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 the drug dealing was dead simple in that game though, once you was used to it though. It really is. It's like. Get cocaine, sell it to man who gives you top dollar. <laughs> yeah. Rinse, repeat. Yeah, for what it was, yeah. I really liked it. Yeah, Chantal Wars was great though. Um, after that, I would rank. I I think in terms of the low, like three D three D ranked ones. Um, honestly, Lost and Damned would be the at the bottom. I didn't. I never played that enough to and didn't really get that invested into it. So that's probably sword why. Not sword not as long. Yeah, I remember the trailer was excellent. After Lost and Damned, I would put Vice City Stories, because mm -hmm. which is good, but I feel like in comparison to Liberty City Stories, it kind of felt like they didn't really do as much to try to differentiate it. That was one of the two GTA games I ever 100%ed legitimately. Hmm, interesting. Vice City Sorry, Stories wasn't wait. difficult. The thing is with Vice City Stories is they did the mini game system better than any of the previous GTAs did. Which one? Sorry. You know how in most uh, GTA 3, uh, uh, well, yeah, the free era games, you basically have yes, to do 12 true. levels of whatever it is, the side activity. In oh, like racing yeah. and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah it like does, fire it, and it, stuff it, like that. Checkpoints. Yeah, in Vice City Stories, there's checkpoints. You have to do 15, but you can do 5, 10, 15, and that gets it done. Yeah, you don't, you, 
I, I mean, for Firefighter, it's not that bad, it's just it's fucking paramedic that's it's pain in the ass in other games because the fucking patients are so fucking. Actually, dense. in San Andreas, paramedics incredibly easy once you figure out the way to do it. Okay. okay, well, after Vice City Stories, yeah. I would actually, I would actually put you. Go on. After Vice City, I, honestly, after Vice City Stories, I would put GTA Three. Yeah, Three was an excellent game for the time, but I think technology definitely yes. moved on. I think yeah. uh, I had a CVG magazine before, and it said, "Go to GTA Three, and you'll be amazed at how bare bones it is. Vice City, you'll be amazed how much fun it is, or something like that." Uh, Just because Vice City did a lot, it basically enhanced everything. Yeah. So. I wouldn't mind seeing like a redone version of the original GTA 3 with mechanics from Vice City and San Andreas. Uh, that yeah. exists. There's a, a G there's a total conversion mod for Vice City that turns it into GTA 3, but it adds like helicopters and shit. It's pretty good. That'd be no, cool, but I would also no, want there, to. There, there is I, I would also the, want to keep the story. So the, the total conversion would have to happen. Yeah, yeah. The total the, conversion uh, has the story, I believe. Seriously, so you can play GTA 3 complete with Vice City's engine and add it. Yeah, because they're the same game. Sign me the hell GTA up. 3 and Vice City have exactly the same <coughs> engine. They can share yeah. mods between the two games because they're exactly the same. It's oh, sign me the fuck up. Vice City Stories and Liberty City Stories are also the same. They have the Vice City engine in them. Well, yeah, that's when they were uh, switch. Those are different because they were using renderware. And, I mean, there was those were using the Rage engine instead of renderware. Yeah, but San Andreas... During the GTA 3 era, San Andreas is the only game that has legitimately its own game engine. And even then, I Wait, think San it's Andreas only like a heavily engine? modified Vice City. Yeah, it, it, mm -hmm. uses a, it uses a heavily modified renderware. Yeah, well, oh, well. there's like three Vice City, Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories have very similar. It's literally to the point where in Liberty City Stories, Vice City uh, assets are floating around like crazy. Hence why the VC, VCN choppers in the game. <coughs> All right. Well, I mean, those are based on like the raid engine, and I'm pretty sure they were just like throwaway games anyway, like to like keep the mobile uh, crowd happy while they worked on big games. Well, they were Rockstar lead titles. Yeah. Well, which ones Rockstar leads again? I'm not familiar with their work. They're the Rockstar guys who did Liberty City yeah. Stories and Vice City Stories. I think they worked on GTA. I Advanced get as that, well. but I, I get. I think so. They're, they're basically the throwaway I think studio. China Got it. Yeah, I think they did Chinatown Wars as well. They do the mobile stuff. Wouldn't surprise me if Must they had a search. hand in the iFruit app as well. Mm. Yep, Rockstar leads. Wait, they do the mobile games. Didn't they do Midnight Club LA Remix as well? Yeah, they I think they had a hand Midnight. in Midnight Club before. They did... Yep, Midnight, Midnight Club Free and... Dub Edition. Manhunt 2 on the PSP. Oh no, because... Uh... Uh, G uh, Midnight Club LA was Rockstar San Diego, wasn't it? No, no, no. LA Remix on the PSP was a separate title running. Ah, oh, okay. I, is, I didn't finish ranking yet. Okay. Oh. Um, so hmm. after... Where was I left off at? Of GTA 3, I think? Uh, yeah, GTA yeah, 3. Yeah. Alright, after GTA 3, I would put uh, Ballad of Gay Tony. Because I actually ding, quite like the, the, the additional ding. cars and the stuff they put into GTA 4, but... I actually, I kind of really mo only cared it morally for that extra stuff and not so much the story itself. The story was yeah. pretty good though. It wrapped up the whole diamonds thing, which was nice. Yeah. And the bull. Yeah, diamonds. there is that. But it is, that is just how I look at it, I guess. I'd have to play it again. Um, bull Garden. After after that, oh. I would after Bet Gay Tony, I would put Liberty City stories because that is actually quite. I always, cons I always just consider that to be GTA 3, but better. Genuine, hold on, quick thing I need to just go around the room with. Genuine consensus, is Liberty City Stories better than Vice City Stories? Mm, yes. I've never played yeah, I remember. Yeah. The problem, I'm, I'm the like problem with, um, the problem with <laughs> Vice City Stories is that the characters were kind of generic. They were good. Like, most of, they were a bit hit and miss. I loved the Phil Collins things. They, that was fantastic. You know, Phil it Collins with uh, oh, yeah, we had I, I mean, VCS yeah. is just showing Barry oh, and Lens Rennie and all that. becomes a fucking candy is in Vice City. Yeah. Anyway, it's gone from the camera. Um. Okay, so after Liberty City Stories, I would, I would put San. I would do. I would say San Andreas. I would no GTA Four. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. GTA 4, I think, is a very is an excellent Grand Theft Auto game. I don't understand why so many people have the hate for it because of its more realistic, I guess, more gritty style. <laughs> yeah. I always really liked that personally. That's just my two cents on it. I like the and settings. Nico, well. Nico, in my opinion, is one of the best protagonists in any GTA mm. game. Yeah. Yeah. He was. Yeah, he's, he's very good, but okay. I will still, I will still say this. Tommy Bassetti is the best protagonist out of any. Probably, GTA. yeah. I'd go with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's voiced by Ray Liotta. He's voiced by Ray Liotta. So why not? Yeah, Ray Liotta wasn't. Yeah. Um. Yet, okay, so. After GTA 4, I would put San Andreas. Yep. San Andreas, just the fact that there's just so much to do, and it, it just, it was, it like, vision, like, techno, technically for the PS2, it's fucking crazy how much they managed to yeah, spin in that game. Yeah, the, the stories about that game and sort of how they were, like, thought they were going to blow PS2 dev kits and all sorts with the game, it's pretty crazy. You know what's crazy? Yeah. I got GTA San Andreas from my old Xbox 360 right here with me, so... Mm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah. So, here comes the unpopular opinion. After San Andreas, I put GTA 5. Honestly, well, in my GTA opinion... GTA 5 is a fun game. Online notwithstanding... Yeah, GTA online can go fuck my opinion, itself. G well, Where does GTA the Online, online rank? Because technically they try and sell it as a separate game. Uh, yeah, bottom, that's a good bottom point. basement. Be at the bottom. Yeah. I would not. I would not put it at the bottom. Focus. Below Saints Row Four. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. uh, uh, online, online, it depends. Here's the, th here's the honest thing about here's here's the honest thing about mo here's my honest thing about GTA Online. I shot, really cut, hate shot, what it's cut, become. Shot, cut, shot, cut, shot, yeah. Cut, I really shot, hate cut. what it's become with the whole shark cards and everything. But as of in terms of at least what the, it allows you to do and. How you can kind of freely customize it to your liking and play the way you want it. If you have I money. can't really fault it that badly. In terms of I can't, I can't, I can't, of course, fault it for the money, because fuck the money system in that game. Yes. In terms yeah, of what I like, though, the money system in that is a disaster. I'd also like to go ahead and say that uh, the thing with GTA Online is that it's going to be very highly dependent on how you play the game and how. The people that you have <laughs> in the game with, because if you're playing that <laughs> shit solo, yeah, five M is just the best way. Yeah, I was Again, gonna say like homecoming. Five M is just the best way to play uh, yeah. with other people, whether you want to do like RP things or racing with others, like Project Homecoming. Oh yeah, no doubt. You yeah. don't have the missions Absolutely. and stuff. The most fun, there, I, I don't think the only fun, the only real genuine fun I remember having on GTA Online is. Downloading a mod menu and fucking around with my friends in a private session. That was, um, that way you're supposed to take that gun. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that just my opinion, good. though. I I like GTA 5 as a game. I hate what it what a lot of it has become, but it's still just just, and the fact that the modding the mod it's probably one of the absolute best games for modding. Remember too. that game oh, took like eight months to finally figure out how to mod it. It's got, yeah. mate, it's got a clear 1.2 mod, it's Has it actually worst. got a clear 1.2 mod? I'm pretty sure it does. Well, there's the Airport Falls video next year. Oh, no, no, it, it has better, it has a Twingo mod. Easy, it's Dickhead Dennis. <laughs> Time to drive a car again, mates. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no. well, that don't bring him back. Be my good behavior, I like. don't want to bring Oi. him back, he just comes out occasionally. Oi. It's like Oi, alien. Dennis, you dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anyways, Fundy, you have two laps to finish your list. And I think there's only one left after that. My absolute favorite is Vice City. I mean, how can, you not, how can you not love it Tears for Fears on Wave 1 Vice, Vice City, in my opinion, just has the best story. It has Tommy Rossetti, is just a really likable character. It's the just best really... radios. Yes. It's, it's, it's like, easily it... the best aesthetic. But aesthetic wise, definitely, it's it's the most interesting it, to play. It, it looks of... brilliant. Fernando yeah, it, it, in turn, yeah. the map just... feels bigger than it is. Yeah. Well, listen. Quite frankly, a game that has Tears for Fears, Judas Priest, Megadeth, uh, a flock of seagulls. Uh, yeah. Who else am I missing? The Atomic Sisters. 
Um, Hollow Notes. I mean, that's the one thing I will oh, give yeah. Vice City Stories Hollow credit for as well. Vice City touched. Stories had a fantastic Banger. soundtrack as well. Oh yeah, the, the radio in Vice City Stories was pretty freaking good. Vice City Stories radio is the best thing about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and the fact that they actually tie in with the Vice City radios with like... They did that with Liberty City Stories as well, I think. Yeah, 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 and, and that's why it's... They did what? I will say, like, the custom-made music for, like, Liberty City Stories uh, and GTA 3 was pretty good. They they basically made the, the story about, like, uh, GTA Vice City Stories radio go well with the Vice City radio with... Uh, People that are main host on Vice City are actually like a secondary host on uh, yeah. Vice City stories. Like that Cousin Ed and DJ Laszlo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. DJ Laszlo is probably my favourite thing about GTA. La 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 Las Vegas La 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 just, is just the fucking best. Laszlo is great. I mean, yeah. after all, that, that he's the guy behind most of the fucking radio stations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, he runs like all the radio stations? No, no, he um, actually yeah. is like involved in the game's development, like, is in yeah, finding yeah. music. Genuinely, and... as a kid, ah. this is probably the most embarrassing thing I'll say. I, I got in the radio, I got in cars, pulled into a side street and just listened to fucking the talk show radio. I think we all v did. VCPL. But yeah, uh, DJ Laszlo, I think ever since Vice City, I think they said, or even might uh, even be GTA 3. He basically writes half the dialogue, and it, um, apparently it's, it's quite an interesting thing between yeah. him and Sam Hauser because like half of, basically what they try and do is like <laughs> DJ Leslow will try to mock British people and Hauser will try to mock Americans, and that's basically the yeah. way they write. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, I mean, uh, I I think that Leslow actually did the world freaking torture radio of GTA 3 since he was also there. Yeah, he and... yeah he basically writes half the radio dialogue. And then, and then, I mean, I think he actually even wrote the pets dialogue in the later games and things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Damn. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, the, yeah. I mean, Laszlo can't complain. I can imagine with the royalties and stuff, he's uh, doing pretty well. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. I mean, we all know the absolute best job was to be a uh, Master Chief because you literally had to say like twelve lines and got a paycheck. <laughs> So, <laughs> he was. T uh, I read an interview with him. Actually, it's quite interesting. The guy who voiced him, like, um, he didn't tell anyone in his personal life he was doing anything with it. Uh, <laughs> so apparently, he, like, went round to a friend's house watch, and they were like um, playing Halo, <laughs> and uh, he was just like, "Oh, I voiced the main character in this game." And it was just like, "Yeah, whatever." And then they actually got to the credits, saw his name, and apparently, like the next day, those kids gathered up on the street trying to shake his hand and all the rest of it. <laughs> oh my God, no. That is the sweetest Damn. thing. What? Yeah. What if? What if? Hey, what if Spartan or Master Chief was voiced by Troy Baker? Oh, God. oh. <laughs> Troy oh, Baker is damn near everything now. He's in lot. He's in from incredible games like Last of Us to absolutely up. Poorly ones like unearthed. The oh, the tale of the Yeah. That thing. Fucking hell. Uh, I never mean, saw a me. second episode despite being advertised. Hang on. Hang on. I mean, I mean, it's the, freaking the, amazing. The, he even, like, he really is in freaking everything. You know, he does one of the vo Let's see. He does one of the voices. He did a voice for Batman at one point. He, well, in two different games, actually. Uh, oh he's no! In Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, didn't he? I just realized uh, something. Batman and Arkham oh. Origins and the Telltale animated series. The next er, number, the, the number of the yeah. next episode combined with the car we're going to be using is uh, interesting, shall we say? Sixty-nine. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. Be uh, prepared. Let, let, Can I talk about some in the next episode? When you, when you... When you be get done prepared with for ultimate means. You certainly can well, speak about something in the next episode, but you will have to wait great. until that because we are almost done. Red. I mean, the, well, the best knowing way, how the this group way. is going to be, I'm not going to be able to say anything. So I guess that's end of conversation. Yeah. The, the best for say, voice actor is the voice actor for Claudia GTA 3. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the, the only actor that comes close to, to him is is, is the fucking um, free free man uh, actor in Half Life. Oof. <laughs> oof. <laughs> that's what he made when he fell over. It's just like oof. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oof. Isn't that so, like the Roblox uh, sound or something? Yes. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Oof. I can't do it now. Fuck. Oof. Anyways, boys, time to prize.
What's the surprise? surprise We're going to get a prize surprise. It's time to prize open Isn't the genital warts awesome of this game and ask, Sir, can you please have a car? The genital warts? Yeah. Moving on. It's a Nista. You mean oh, with Oh, baby. Bulky. Oh! Oh! Ooh. Ooh. That right there is dog's bollocks. Mm. Hello, doll. If Look anyone wants to make this in Forza 7, honey. like, Hello, right Hello, now, Hello, beyond the dog Angel, ball. you have a job to do. I'm that... the, only if I get freaking paid. The amount of crap that I have to do in the real world. You will be just... paid by all of us twenty-five million pounds each. I will pay you. <laughs> that's not the dog's bollocks. That's that's the whole fucking. That's the full Monty, Red Rocket, and all. <laughs> I will pay you. Oh, Don't my you God. dare this a Jesus the full Christ. Monty movie ever. I will. <laughs> hey, pay, God, you pay me enough, and I will go ahead and gladly make that. I just to the max. I can't even participate in Hitler's League because of how busy I am. So, mm. uh, um, what's the car called? Oh, it's a Nissan. Is that oh, there it is. <laughs> Isn't there a 350Z version of this car? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, there is. Uh, apparently we He's... know nothing about it other than it's a V6. Yeah, uh, I hit yes. stats. What, do you, what else do you need to know? 617 horsepower. Anyways, and, and you want to know the best of V6 history or run of V6? Yes. At 42.9% completion, 130 cars owned, and that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we are going to be taking a look at the Japanese Compact Cup. So join us for that. Until then, farewell.